Are you tired of endless best distro debates and just want to find the one that fits your needs? Let's walk through five of the most popular Linux distributions and who they're best suited for. First up is Ubuntu, the household name of Linux. With its polished GNOME desktop and intuitive virtual desktops, Ubuntu delivers a rock-solid experience backed by long-term support releases every two years, supported for five years, and interim updates every six months. You'll benefit from broad hardware compatibility, a wealth of software via PPAs and snaps, and default AppArmor security. However, if you're running on older hardware, you may notice snap packages can be sluggish and space-hungry, and power users might miss deeper customization options that other distros provide. Next, Fedora offers a pure vanilla GNOME experience with bleeding edge software released every six months. It comes bundled with developer tools out of the box and enforces Linux security by default, making it both a playground for coders and a fortress for those who prioritize security. Its fast paced release cycle means you'll always have the latest kernels and libraries at your fingertips but it also demands a commitment to upgrade roughly every year. Additionally, you may need to enable third-party repositories manually if you want proprietary codecs for services like Netflix or certain hardware drivers. If you are migrating from Windows and crave a familiar desktop layout, Linux Mint is your friend. Based on Ubuntu LTS, Mint provides a traditional taskbar, a start-style menu, and out-of-the-box codecs and drivers Yet it opts for flat packs instead of snaps to keep things lightweight. This makes for a buttery smooth, immediately usable environment that feels like home to Windows 7 refugees. Though its interface may strike some as a bit dated compared to more modern designs, updates follow Ubuntu's LTS cadence, so you won't have to worry about chasing rapid releases, but that also means you may miss out on the very latest software. For gamers and performance enthusiasts, Garuda Linux demands attention. Its dragonized edition delivers a neon-infused KDE Plasma desktop complete with built-in performance tweaks tailored for a seamless gaming experience. You'll gain access to the Arch user repository's vast software library, plus BTRFS snapshots powered by Snapper for quick rollbacks whenever a tweak goes awry. Keep in mind, though, that this rolling release distro requires weekly or bi-weekly updates and uh, expects reasonably powerful hardware so it's best suited for experienced users who love diving deep into system configuration. Finally, OpenSUSE invites you to pick your adventure, tumbleweed for a rolling release with thoroughly tested updates or leap for a more conservative, stable approach. You can choose your preferred desktop environment at installation and manage virtually every system setting through YST, a graphical control center that covers everything from user management to network configuration. While YST's sheer breadth can initially feel overwhelming, it makes OpenSUSE a dream for system administrators or anyone running home servers who wants GUI-driven power without sacrificing flexibility. So, which one speaks to you? Ubuntu and Mint remain the go-to for newcomers seeking stability and ease of use. Fedora is a haven for developers craving cutting-edge tools. OpenSUSE empowers admins and home server hobbyists with Yasti's sweeping control, and Garuda caters to gamers and power users who love performance tuning. Give each a spin, see which workflow clicks, and let us know which distro you fall in love with.